Beyond the traditional rivalry between Edinburgh and Glasgow, there's much to unite the two cities. Whisper it quietly, we may even need each other. I'm people's historian Daniel Gray, and this is the story of the Edinburgh and Glasgow Union Canal. The building of the canal was an act of grand unification between our two great cities. It was a social undertaking too. It meant the shortening of laborious journey times by coach. Of course, there were economic reasons. The route ran for some 31 miles, stopping just short of Falkirk, where it joined the Forth and Clyde Canal, a coast-to-coast -coast work of wonder. Work on the Union Canal began in 1818. It would join our cities like never before. The Union Canal is sprinkled with flourishes that demonstrate how it was this unifying force between the two cities. This, the very first bridge in Edinburgh, has on one side this city's coat of arms and on the other, Glasgow's tree. Work on the canal was performed by thousands of navvies, many of them Irish people, toiling away. At night time, for miles, a snake of torches could be seen. Among them were Burke and Hare. On March the 9th, 1822, the entire length of the canal was filled with water and it was finally opened. It had cost two and a half times more than the budget, but our great cities were united by water at last. It united people from the cities. They saw family members and indeed the cities themselves for the first time. It took, in its 1830s heyday, some 200,000 people a year between the places. There were even night boats. The Union Canal was as much about commerce and industry as it was about people. In fact, Edinburgh's new town was almost completely built by materials that went across. It was just as well that it was so economically viable because in 1842 the Edinburgh and Glasgow Railway opened and robbed the canal of its passengers. Over the years, industrial cargo slowed to a halt as well. It was overtaken by rail and road. The canals, both the Union and the Forth and Clyde, were eventually abandoned in the 1960s and left to rot. Then, in the 21st century, something remarkable happened. Just as human endeavour had built the canals, so too it resuscitated them. The stretches of water between our two cities were reopened. Once more, the canals are open. Another link between our two cities. There is so much that unites Edinburgh and Glasgow. I still prefer sauce on my chips though. <laughs>